Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy. Today I will be showing you how to delete data in a vector. Uh, one way is to use an iterator and the other way is to use the clear method. Okay, so let's open Visual Studio Code and let's create a new folder. And I'm going to call this vector and inside vector I will we'll go ahead and create a new file called vector.cpp okay I'm gonna go ahead and initialize um, a module and declare uh, vector include uh, string include io stream I'm going to declare using namespace standard and in my um, main I will have the following I will have um, int I'm going to declare int main void I'm going to create a vector vector uh, string and I'm gonna have a few um, elements so I'm gonna declare one two three and then hello okay so that's my vector now as you can see there are four elements here how would I basically delete one of these elements? Okay, so I'll go ahead and create a function called um, uh, let's declare void delete entry, and I'll go ahead and basically pass in a vector, and it's going to be an address of a vector. Right? So inside the vector um, and I'll go ahead and do the following um, I'll go ahead and uh, create an iterator so standard vector string and iterator IT right and I'm gonna say IT it equals standard uh, find I'm going to use the find uh, method find vector begin vector n and I'm going to basically uh, find a match right so I haven't declared that yet so I need to pass in um, string match okay and if it um, is not equal to vect n then we know the item is found then we can do vect erase uh, it okay and so if I want to delete um, for example I want to delete one right I can go ahead and do um, a delete entry and I will pass in the vector and then I want to find um, what I want to delete right so pass in one and so um, if I pass in one then one should be deleted from our vector up here okay so let's see how it works out so um, We'll go ahead and do a for loop, and we say for uh, auto uh, string in vector, and then do a C out of string and line. 
Okay. And let's test our program out right now. And um, let's go to a terminal. Uh, let's do a clear first. And cd to vector. And let me do a clear again so you can see everything here. So we can do g++. Um, let's do standard 11 equal to C++ 11 and vector. Okay, it compile. Let's do a a dot out. And as you can see, uh, we used to have one, two, three, and hello, and one is now missing from our um, vector. So this function works. Okay. Uh, the other way of deleting uh, our vec uh, an element in our vector is by um, passing in position. So we can do like uh, let's write another function called void delete entry. We also pass in a vector. And an address, and we want to pass in a position, okay, in position, okay, and uh, we could say vect erase, vec begin plus uh, the position, right? So um, that's our implementation for delete entry, right? This is overloaded function. So if I want to do a delete entry and I pass in a vector and I pass in a position let's say I, my position is uh, 0 1 and 2 okay so I want to delete 3 from my vector so I just pass in 0 1 2 and let's recompile our code okay so let's uh, recompile that do a dot out and as you can see uh, hmm I deleted hello so it's really zero one two oh I, that's that's right because um, when when we deleted entry one uh, it offset by one so now we actually deleting hello instead okay and then uh, my last example will be just clearing out the vector entirely. So um, I can uh, create another function called void delete all. I'll pass in a vector. Okay. And uh, I'll go ahead and call, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do vector. Uh, clear and this will pretty much wipe out everything inside that vector so if I go ahead and do delete all um, sorry so let's let's do delete all after the after the um, for loop And uh, and let's check the vector after we do delete all. So we can check the vector for size of zero. And if if the size is zero, then we can say C out um, nothing is in the vector. Okay, and let's recompile our code. And let me push this up so you can see it. Do a dot out. And so after it prints out two and three, nothing is in the vector. So we pretty much clear out um, our vector by using the clear method. Okay, so this is a uh, very quick tutorial. And if you like this kind of tutorial, 
please let me know and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you soon again thank you very much for watching